Yo, what up gamers, for Product here. Today we're going to be playing about five games of Tristana. It's part of my Iron to Master series. Where we're just going to be testing her out. And... Well, I mean, I could also be testing the overheal. Maybe I'll do that in a future game. But I don't feel like using it this game since Trump is so nice on her. Matchup this game is going to be Tristana Karma into Kaisa Nautilus. We're going to pop around because they got a pretty brutal level 1 in general. They have a pretty good matchup against us. Karma's weak to engage, and I'm also not amazing into lockdown either. That's Tristana. I lost can easily cancel my W, so... It's going to be playing a relatively safe matchup. As they go on Karma, we're just going to go on Kai'Sa. Try and exhaust her if we can. There we go. Uh, she didn't exhaust me, even though she very much should have. Did she exhaust Karma or what? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna assume it's still up. And just... Take the good fight. Okay, so the... The huge fuck up from them was, uh, once Nautilus looks on to Karma, they can't actually afford to focus Karma. They can't- they don't one-shot her, which means... If- if they're focusing Karma, I'm gonna be busy focusing Kai'Sa and damage onto the ADC. Or more valuable than damage onto the support. So I think the hook at the Karma was fine. But you either do a very short burst of damage onto Karma and then disengage, or you just switch focus onto me. And I'm just gonna kite away, so you're gonna disengage, right? You don't get to kill Karma in that situation. It only would have worked, to be fair. It, to be fair, most of the time it would have worked, but unfortunately for them, I do have a brain. I do realize I don't, I'm not gonna fucking hit the support here, I'm gonna hit Kaisa. By hitting Kaisa, I save Karma. He has taken far too much damage there. Should have used this W. Alright, the one over force here. Do want to keep shoving in waves. Already got an advantage when we shouldn't have. They're probably looking to base here. Shouldn't mean that we get to deny them a wave. And get a good recall. And the plating. No, we already got that plating. I'm just going to leave already. Okay, really good. I'm about 11 CS up on the Kai'Sa. Got a plating. Didn't end up getting a kill, sadly. But it's all good. We'll get double longsword here, head straight back into lane. So, so my previous video was a um, in-depth testing of Caitlyn on the patch 13.3. Uh, I guess the point of these videos is to like test the champion as like a blind pick, like just spamming them regardless of where your support is going to be. And just show you what the champion is like on this patch if you do that. Well, we lost all five, five games with Caitlyn. She's supposed to be a top tier ADC, and I think that is true in high elo. I don't rec really recommend her in low elo, though. I think high elo players, like, super overrate her for low elo when they're recommending her. I think there's a reason why she always has, like, a 49 or 50% win rate in low elo. Even when she's considered super strong in high elo. Of course, five games is not the proof of that, but I think it is a pretty decent indication. And we'll see if I can do any better on Tristana, just blind picking her five games in a row. Because I did say yesterday that if I were playing Tristana, I would not have lost five games in a row. So if I happen to lose five games in a row here, that's going to be really awkward. So currently my CS lead has basically resulted in only one long up on Kai'Sa. So we don't have a huge advantage right now. Ooh, nice one. So we don't want to use Bomb on Nautilus because I want to save it in case... We want to go, but I think now I can actually afford to commit onto Nautilus. Oh, come on. But I might be in trouble here, and especially now that Hecarim showed up. Sad. I'll try and hand over the kill to Hecarim if possible. Mm, not possible. Okay, that blows. Definitely turned out to be a mistake there. But maybe could actually lead to a positive outcome here. Oof. Well, positive-ish. She needs to not hit that wave, actually. I think... Ah, uh, actually, it might have been fucked either way. Oh, man. Yeah, 2v2, it turned out to be fine. Which was my main worry. I didn't expect to get ganked. Oh, lord. She is so screwed here. Ooh. Not the way I would have played that. She can... Yes! Nice, handed over the kill to Nautilus. Nothing for Annie, that's actually so huge. Annie's already behind in her lane, she's already losing lane. 
And she just wasted so much time on that roam just to only get XP from it. She got no farm. Fucking hell. Just gonna trade back with the Kaisa there. The exhaust makes it an okay trade, I guess. I was gonna be fucked there no matter what and take a ton of damage, so I may as well trade back. Committing the exhaust for making it an actually okay trade. I want to be a little bit patient here and not immediately jump in. We should probably actually lose focus, Nautilus. Or we'll start off with Nautilus, then go on Kai'Sa. Damn it, didn't mean to take the third shot. Damn it, that could have been so big. She's almost dead still. Oh, damn it. Oh well, what's this wave like? This is good, this is a good wave. This is good if she just leaves it. Actually, I'll get a dagger. We'll need some DPS to call the Nautilus without using bombs. Which we mostly want to save for Kai'Sa, it just depends. We don't want to make the same mistake they did, where we go on the support and they focus the ADC. And then the ADC just cleans us up. So I'd rather she wasn't actually hitting these minions, because that one wasn't going to die for like another second. The one she hit here couldn't have died for like another 10 seconds or something. She just hits them when they're low. So this is actually now pushing towards them, just purely because of Karma's impact over the wave. I know when you're a support and uh, the ADC is not in the lane, you think there's no harm in loss hitting. But unless you do it exactly perfectly, like perfect timing where you're not impacting the wave at all, there very much is an impact. There very much is harm that can be done. Okay, I'm gonna play some wards. At least one, anyway. We can place one nice and deep here. Could get the honey fruit. I guess I will. Oh, hello. I should have cleared that blast gun while I could. It it's never a smart idea as the support to stay in lane while the ADC is placing vision. Especially, it's especially bad when I'm like trying to clear out a pink and the support is just sitting in lane doing nothing. When they could be helping me get the pink, ensure we get it in time before the enemy contests. But that's uh, still egregious. That is bad, but still bad. I really don't want to miss that XP, but I really can't afford to path through here. Sad. But yeah, my bad. I didn't even notice there was a Blossk on there, could have cleared that. I'm just gonna shove this wave. Then consider whether I maybe want to contest Drake, although I assume we won't. Kha'Zix is not around to contest. Okay, maybe I can use this window to just get a various boss plating. Yeah, there should be a plating. Nice one. 175 gold for me. Bait Sacrament to trying to gank as well, just wasting his time. So I may want to go Berserkers in this matchup, just uh, to go for more DPS oriented playstyle in lane. Since the Nautilus really limits just how often we can actually jump on the Kai'Sa and kill her. A lot of this lane is going to be spacing focused. Okay, they're both level 6. I could just recall now, I think I will. This is inevit inevitably gonna start pushing towards us, just purely because it's on their side of the map. So even though it was actually sort of looking like a freeze for them, uh, our minions just get killed too fast. Um, yeah, got nothing good to buy here. Annoying to not spend anything with 500 gold, but... Oh, dude, I'm, I forgot, I'm building the Vory second, I could have done a longsword. Oh well. I was thinking I couldn't build a BF or uh, couldn't build a Infinity Edge component. Damn, that sucks. He recalls. Okay, I was looking to punish Kaisa there. Trying to get in a position where I could easily flank. I 
there was no reason for that. We don't want to push here. We don't want to let them engage easily. I don't want to let them have a free recall either though, so I won't freeze. Karma could RQ. He's not going to though. We'll just start shoving as if they've recalled even though we don't have that information. They could easily just be cheesing though. Karma needs to check now. She needs to check if they're there. Just RQ, RQ, RQ. Okay, they actually recalled. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to recall again for pickaxe then. I can actually get something now. I don't have time to get the plating if I also want to have a good recall though. Just need the base fast. I'll actually sell this and just get a longsword. It is really important on Tristana. Massively increases your bomb damage. Especially because the AD ratio, I believe, gets higher and higher. Yeah. Higher and higher AD ratio with every level. So now we're level 7. Got 4 points in it. It's not quite maximized yet, but... Still, every point of AD at the moment has a big impact. Can't really afford to place a ward there with no information. Oh, shit. We might be able to win this. Okay, nice. Uh, we can easily kill Hecram here, too. Got him. I don't know where Annie is, is the awkward thing here. I'm gonna assume she's not in this dry brush. Nice! Timed up for the last hit. I really should have uh, actually not poked my bomb so early. Oh, unlucky Kha'Zix. But I should have not proc my bomb so early so I could uh, time my auto for the last hit easier. Time my damage for the last hit, but it worked out either way. Oh wait, did Kha'Zix actually get an assist? Actually, yeah, he smited for sure. He got that. Nice. Alright, they made the same mistake again, you see? They just go for the support, get focused by the ADC. It's fine to try and catch out Karma there, but you can't afford to use all of your cooldowns on her. If all they have for left for me is Nautil Assault, thank god that didn't hit me, then I'm just gonna clean up. That's the problem with their lane, is they need to be really focusing me, not Karma. That only works if they have a huge lead, which they currently don't. They should be behind enough for Hecarim. Okay, this is looking really good. I can just blindly jump in here. Well, I'm the wrong person, but we'll continue focusing Kaisa. There we go. <laughs> that guy was timing his auto for the last hit as well this time. I'm gonna go for the turret, yeah. Gonna wait for the wave to show up as well. There we go. So we can use our E for wave curve as well as killing the threat here. There we go. Cost me some HP, but whatever. Wave dies a lot faster this way. Okay, I'm gonna recall again, because I can get some HP and I can get pickaxe. And I can promise you, if I was playing Caitlyn in this lane, and they were focusing Karma like that, I would not have been able to turn these fights like I am able to on Tristana. Caitlyn, it's, it's, still, it's still like a sort of a punish. I could do some damage to Kai'Sa, but I wouldn't be killing her. Anyway, this is again the same mistake. Uh, wait. Hopefully I live here. Holy crap, that stun lost forever. That's fine. Oh my lord, I actually left. Jesus. That was such unlucky timing. One of my autos got cancelled by, I think, a Nautilus Q. Which delayed Kaisa dying for a really long time. I'm basically just here to distract the Annie. She wants to flash on me. I guess I'll just recall again. I would love to do Raptors, but I don't have enough sustain to stick around yet. That's Caulfields. There we go. Let me get in 
So obviously, Infinity Edge is much more common in Tristana. I think it's, that's perfectly fine if you want to do Infinity Edge. I think it probably scales better. But I do prefer, personally, Navori as the second and third item. You can try jumping on Hecarim here. He's dead. Whoa, wait. Oh, I don't have ult, actually. Okay. Stunned on the Raptors. Okay, ult or no ult, he still died. Oh, nice. I'm getting healing now. Just like that. We're gonna get as far away as we can before we get ulted, since we can't fight here. Kai's are worth to go on us now, though. I could exhaust her and beat her since I have my E up. Sadly, I can't jump on her. Or can I? Well, I didn't jump on her. Even if I didn't exhaust, I was gonna be fine there, but better exhaust to preserve HP just in case uh, they manage to get onto me. Don't wanna be killable with just one anti-Q. Anyway, what's going on here? My lord. That is one valuable herald. What's the rest of the whiff? Yeah, I can't really join them, so we're just gonna pressure while they get collapsed on. Get a turret, an extra turret out of it. Maybe even go for red buff now, as we need to back off anyway. Oh, they have an Irelia. Okay, red isn't up. Nothing is up. Just maybe golems. Uh, there might be a fight here. I can do it with basing before this Drake. I'm gonna start basing. Okay, get a quick look here. Best power spike we can get. And we're gonna go for the Bloodthirster now. I don't believe we need to maximize our damage this game. We can just afford to get tank here. Get unkillable. I forgot about the portal. Nice. Alright, if they're there, I guess I can safely do this. I hope. Okay, I don't see what the point was. Let's start the Drake. They're not contesting, I don't think, our is top. can definitely try and collapse on Aurelia here. Just gonna use W, I've got no cooldowns anyway, when I hit the Skittle Crab. Let's get this party started. Any chance we get her? Not really. Can't afford the face check, she might one-shot me. Oh, hello. Well, Karma didn't do much there. I'm gonna wait for her to use her stun and then chance this. Oh. Yeah. Oh well. This some damage at least. That's just the Kai's actually. I didn't need to run. I thought that might be Annie. That's where Annie was before. Oh shit. That's not good. My exhaust is just barely not up too. Don't need to exhaust her. Wow, nice one. Huge Yoni ult, what the fuck? Should be able to get this Baron.
Huge enemy ult followed by huge enemy ult. Countered. I'm gonna get the blue if I can. Oh, I've already got a blue. Never mind, I'll leave it for Kha'Zix. Would have gone for wolves if he didn't. Oh, he didn't take the portal. Wait, is it just running straight to the top? Yeah. Could have taken the wolves then because you can see I'm not going to arrive to much farm here. <laughs> nice, I got two lost hits. I only ulted once and my Q downtime is like still nothing. Nowhere is just so nice in Tristana. I guess we're just gonna end. Where the fuck are they? Come on. There. Oh, what? No way. <laughs> oh well. We went to game number two. Alright gamers, we're back for game number two. Some round we're gonna be playing Tristana Twitch into Zeri Thresh. It should be a decent enough matchup. Thresh is strong early game, but Zeri not so much, and she synergizes better with Enchanters, uh, Shielders, or Yumi. So they're not gonna scale as amazingly as they could either. Thresh is also, or sorry, AP Twitch is also pretty good in the early game as well. That auto. It's gonna jump on Thresh here. Don't even need to have the bomb up. It's still just gonna be a really free trade for us. If I just slow him and let Twitch hit him as well. Got W up very soon. I will, I will go on a Zeri here if anything. Nice one. Okay, so I'm running cleanse this game because of the Thresh CC, and also this is a more aggressive matchup compared to the previous one. We're a lot more likely to be able to pick up kills here, uh, whereas we don't have to be so afraid of them because there is not that good early game and not that good with Thresh. So we can just use cleanse as well to remove the exhaust if necessary. You can, can even though it's a defensive um, uh, summoner, you can consider it a bit more aggressive in nature, like the way we're going to use it. Is more aggression focused than the exhaust. Just gonna go for turret damage here and poke if they were willing to step into it. We don't need to keep crashing waves, we can just look for Onel in here as well. Which can go in stealth. Let's see if it'll stick topside. Okay, a lot of damage for him. Sadly, the whole wave won't crash here. This is a bit awkward because it means I don't get the window to actually press E on the turret here. I think if I was Twitch, I would have just let Thresh recall there because most likely he's just um, bluffing anyway. Oh. Yeah, I figured they wouldn't want to go in on that. I would clean them up so easily. Oh no, Fiddlesticks is around now. Damn. 
Then I'm gonna wait for them to like more or less start finishing the recalls. Okay, she's not recalling. We just lost our vision as well. I need to replace that at some point. There we go. And I didn't miss the last hit, at least not on a melee. Don't play Thrash's interior yet. Defends the exhaust. Eh, wasn't even worth it really. Oh, this guy's still here. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Nice one. I should have just jumped on Zeri again there. I had enough mana for a combo. Uh, actually, I'm too alone here, which is not around. Shouldn't have even wasted my W there, my bad. Been in a position to waste it. I'll, I'll just have to recall here. We should have come immediately bot lane. It's nice to roam on AP Twitch, I know, but... Ah, oh, fuck it, I cancelled it because it looked like looked like he's on the way, but look at how abusable Zeri is. This should be the focus for now. Okay, I'm just going to pretend like I'm not in lane. I can't jump in on my own. I could maybe... Fuck no. Okay, nice. I'm gonna jump on Thresh. Ah, such a waste though, like... He could have done it when they were actually... in a much better position to gank. They'd already started backing off there. Oh well. Baited two flashes. Gonna wait for him to use E before I use mine. Guess we'll stick around for the plating. There we go. I'll just immediately jump out. There we go. Pretty decent base here. Solid amount of AD, decent enough attack speed as well for auto attacking the Thresh when we don't want to use our bomb. Since to do damage without uh, our bomb, we need a lot of attack speed. Just down without bomb and without attack speed just doesn't do anything. And that's also why I like to run the lethal tempo. It just uh, allows you to carry a wider variety of situations. Rather than being limited to only trying to one-shot people. Should have keyed sooner, but it still works. Don't know if Thresh is still around or not, so I could assume Zeri's got his help. Oh, yeah, there he is. Ow. Fucking hell, I need to flash out here. Yeah, my bad. Didn't think about Hexaflash. Wait, did he even Hexaflash? It might have just been a hook from the brush. Ah, wait. Okay, I'm really lucky there. I'm just gonna soak up the XP and then... Then I'll base. I got no other option here. I mean, this was a better time to roam. Uh, obviously it didn't work out, didn't lead to a gank, so w in hindsight it wasn't as good as just coming bot and helping me, for sure. But in theory, like, there's nothing wrong with roaming there when they're all full HP anyway. The, it, the, when it was really egregious was when Zeri was sitting here on 20% HP and pushing, the lane is pushing towards us, and Twitch preferred the gank over punishing that. on her. Okay. Nice one. Yeah, figured she would just jump through the wall, but no much else to do there. Was hoping she would at least just sit and fight, but <laughs> it's pretty obvious that Twitch is just popping up if I'm jumping in there. Oh, she's dead now. She doesn't have E. Nice one. Cool. I'll jump through here so I can start shoving faster. Nice, we got that last hit. Huge. I don't know how she could let herself die to something so silly. Alright, the bomb will just hit the rest of that. And we 
get the soul plating, even though Twitch is right here. Nice. More gold for me. Also, my refillable for another longsword. Again, just like we did in the previous game. Man, both jugglers are having a very passive game. The only the only gank or the only kill Fiddlesticks has is literally killing Twitch when he turret dived from their own jungle. Like Fiddlesticks didn't have to leave his jungle for that gank. If you want to even call it a gank. Meanwhile, Skarner is also sitting on 0, 0, 0 and they both have the same farm. And it's not even amazing farm, is the funny thing. You can definitely get higher if you just dedicated your entire game to AFK farming. Okay, I definitely like the situation. Being left alone with a turret. This is a huge mistake to put Tristan in this. Ah, god damn it. I stole them out. Why is this guy here, but their bot lane isn't? That's weird. Yeah, definitely don't want to leave Tristan alone with a turret. But sticks is the right idea, I guess. Ow. Oh god, the entire wave is dead now. God, that was such a bad trade. Let's see if there's any honey fruits I can pick up. Should have been faster with the cleanse as well. I really was not expecting that. I was in the middle of a monologue. <laughs> hey, honey fruit. There we go. Good, because I don't don't quite want to base yet. I'll pick all this up before I... Mm, I don't even want to go for the pink, actually. So I can get that. I just want to head into lane. Come on, Skarner. I was just doing the Drake. Well, I hope that works out for him. Is very tough for some reason. Does that mean Jace is coming bot? He could easily kill me if he flanks me, so I hope not. Well, if he was gonna do that, he did it too late. Awkward thing is, I don't even know if he's coming bot, so I could be pushing here, but I don't know whether I should. Well, Skarner didn't think to clear the pink. That would have removed their information that he was on the... Oh, Jace is AFK. I could have kept pushing. Okay, my bad. I was about to say, like, why hasn't he showed up? Then I just realized, like, I was like, is he AFK? Checked his levels? Yep. Clearly AFK. My bad. That explains how far Cloud is pushing. Not even close. He is definitely gonna die now, though. We'll just keep pushing bot. And get this turret before the planings go down. We'll use the bomb just to clear this wave a lot faster than we otherwise would. Perfect. Killed almost every single minion. Way more valuable than killing the wave manually and then using you on the turret. Especially because our E is coming off cooldown anyway, but we won't even need to use it for the turret, which we'll is be a waste of mana. I won't even bother bouncing the wave, which is, in case you have never heard of that, since I don't feel like it's a very commonly used term these days. Bouncing the wave is basically letting the turret kill the minions before you actually take the turret. It's a way to deny farm from the enemies and also make it so you want to shove one more wave. Uh, it also gives time for the enemy wave to like walk up all the way over to you, rather than you having to walk up all the way to the wave and having to be more overextended. That's another, it's not really, I don't think people talk about that being a benefit for bouncing the wave, but it definitely is. It's pretty huge. A lot of the time there's scenarios where I don't want to risk overextending for a wave, but I can't, I do, I am willing to let it push towards me and then I can farm it. So I don't know where Fiddlesticks is, I don't have cleanse this time, but I know every member of their team right now is mid and I don't have time to get to that fight before it's probably going to be over. So we're just going to keep pushing. We're going to use E on the wave again. If it weren't a cannon wave, I wouldn't bother. I would just clear it with Q and E the turret. But since, it's, since it is a cannon wave, we can use E to one-shot the cannon and the rest of the wave as well. And we just do it in reverse. E for the wave. E for the 
Q for the turret. Now we can also use you on the turret here as it comes up. And that's free 600 gold. Uh, I guess we'll just keep pushing. Kaelin wouldn't have pushed the turret this hard. Then again, I don't think Kaelin would have been losing a 5v4. So I don't think it matters too much. Ow. I got ult to just ult her away if she actually engages a good fight. Okay, I can look the base here. I'm sitting on a ton of gold. No, oh, that's the wrong thing. God, thank God I noticed that. <laughs> Holy crap. Their, their icons actually look so similar, don't they? I've definitely made that mistake before and not noticed. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter in a game like this. We're going to win no matter what, but... Really could have been awkward. If that happened in an actually losable game. Okay, this time we're actually in a position to join this fight. There we go. Ah. Ow, that hurts. All good, though. to hit that threat anymore until now okay, Nivea could definitely be like stepping up and trying to punish me but she's not I'll get the raptors here nice one and hope for the drake I'd rather not base until I've got no worry so it's a good thing there's a honey fruit here ow bad thing that this drake is hitting me Okay, nice. It only hit me once. No, is he gonna take the farm? At least there's golems up for me. Don't need to jump away, just need to fight back. There we go. Alright, oh, didn't need to kill that. Would be risky to jump on any of you here. I'm not gonna do that. I would need like both her ultimate and her Q on cooldown if I wanted to jump on her safely. I think I'll go for the red and then recall. <clears throat> Definitely shouldn't be aiming for that inhib that's trying to overreach. Okay, that's gonna be the FF anyway. Bit overdue. <laughs> Alright gamers, we're back for game number three. This time around, the matchup is going to be Tristana Ash into Lucian Nami. 
So we're going to be running exhaust this game since Lucian has some pretty scary burst and Ash is not really going to enable us to really burst him down. Uh, if it would come to an all in, he should be expected to burst me before I burst him, which is where we want to run the exhaust to buy us time to actually land our burst. If we had something more like a Nautilus who could engage onto Lucian, then we would want to run the cleanse just to remove their exhaust and ensure that we can actually one shot him. So I just want to keep zoning him for now, as long as he's playing like a pussy. Don't even want to level E. Because he is just going to make us push faster when we don't want to push. I'll level it now, because now we do want to crash this no matter what. Man, this was such awkward focus as well. Every minion was taking aggro. I still got most of it, just not the cannon. We want to switch focus to Nami if she steps up instead of hitting the threat. Or anybody that tries to step up and stop me from hitting the threat. We just want to trade back onto them. Just gonna use Q here, shove this in. Hopefully, we should be able to get a plating real fast. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Plating for us. Using E on Nami there instead of the turret, because again, we want to first her off of us. I'm gonna use my potion since took some unfortunate turret aggro there. Anyway, the enemy bot lane doesn't have exhaust here, so cleanse wouldn't have been a good pick. Anyway, it's mid lane high low that you want to consider running cleanse fairly often. Otherwise, I think in low low I mainly just reserve it for lanes where it would be useful even aside from exhaust. Whereas in high low, you can assume they're going to run exhaust every game, and you can run cleanse every game if you feel that's the best choice. Because exhaust is a hard counter to Tristana here. Burst is extremely telegraphed. It's always on the last auto of your bomb, right? Melee is just Ash exerting a lot of pressure right now. I'm not needed to do too much here. It's buying me a lot of time to hit this turret though. Don't want to trade with him while he's got the Nami passive up as possible. Not the Nami passive, but the, his passive enabled by Nami healing him. Nice one. Maybe not worth the turret shot compared to just letting my bomb explode by itself, but... Doing some work on the turret. I don't feel we should base... Okay, perfect. We could actually just pretend we've based though. Wait for Lucian to run... No, we, we need to focus Lucian here. Okay, I'm going in. He's gonna die here. There we go. If Nami hadn't been such a coward, they actually would have been able to trade one for one there. Let me fucked up big. She also, it was so awkward. I, at least one of my clicks went on Nami when I should have gone on Lucian because they were standing right on top of each other. It is actually so lucky that my E actually went on the right target there. If we focus Lucian, or if we focus Nami by accident there, that was such a lost fight. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna go on. Ah, I failed to go on Nami properly, my bad. Okay, kill goes to Nami at least. And is this actually not going to be freeze? That's actually so huge. Awesome. That is crucial. Okay, we'll just go for refillable for now. Rather than a longsword.
making sure I'm here for an extra last hit. I don't have W now, but I can sure try. Oh god. <laughs> that ass flash. What is this minion block? I'm actually gonna die here. What? Excuse me? That is illegal. That is so illegal. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh my lord. That is so stupid to just give up our lead like that. Like, fair enough, okay, they get a kill on Ash. It's whatever. It, it doesn't make, it doesn't give them a lead, right? It just slightly lessens our lead. But me dying for no fucking reason, that's so dumb. Okay. Mm, sadly won't get this one, even despite the boots. I'm assuming their bot lane was also part of that Drake. So we'll start shoving, see if we can maybe deny some farm. I won't use Z here because it would be overkill. After the Ash W. So Greg is still bot side. Noted. Definitely want to avoid trading right now. All I want to do is just crash this wave and then play some deeper vision. Give us more of a heads up if Gragas shows up. I would... I would guess that he is still here because of Nami wanting to go aggressive there into our wave. But I could be wrong. We'll also place a ward here in the river. There we go. Get that, get it, get it. Nice one. Because I've got Exhaust in 10, that's mainly when I want to fight. And whenever Ash is 6 if possible, she might be behind Nami though. Okay, actually we can fight now. But not like that. Not if they back off. Okay, we'll Exhaust them. Didn't even mean to use that jump, but it's fine. That was a good jump. <laughs> Literally fat fingered it. Oh, uh, well, could have been a lot better. We did a lot of damage, but we really should have been aiming for a kill. Dead. Now get me out. <laughs> Fucking Gragas, dude. Holy shit. Should be able to recall here. This wave is fine. Don't leave them towards me, though, if possible. They might see me, but I doubt it. Okay, good. Yeah, she should run here. Not to... Like, if you are gonna die no matter what, you should at least try and die in a direction that leads the opponents away from chasing the next teammate they'd want to kill. Anyway, I got a shut down on Lucian, so that was pretty decent. Overall, a favorable outcome for us. This Gragas is getting really strong, though. That might become an issue later on. Nami isn't here yet, so... A little bit risky. Okay, I need to run now. Damn it. He's got me. He should die, though. Yeah. So it was a little bit risky because he can retreat into that brush, drop the aggro, and that's going to interrupt at least one of my autos. I also... Didn't account for the heal. Even without losing vision, that might have still been a bad fight because of the heal, but I'm not sure. But I do... The main reason for uh, continuing to go in there for me was just the fact that I have lethal tempo, so I'm a lot better in extended traits than he is by nature. Also, it's actually incredibly unfortunate, by the way, that exactly the moment I jumped in, he queued the minions and I landed a melee range of him, so I actually took a free queue. Um as soon as the fight started when it should have really been or could have very easily just been not taking any damage at all and just like realistically i wanted him to waste his cooldowns on the wave and not have it for the fight whereas he did waste it on the wave but it also hit me <laughs> pretty unlucky because that definitely made the difference oh nami top i wish he hadn't used that ult because we could definitely dive lucian with that we're gonna and just come with me, come with me. We want to dive. I'm gonna type it to make it clear that we're going for this. She should take aggro. She 
She didn't actually do it. I thought she was hitting him there. God damn it. Well, that's just incredibly unfortunate, isn't it? She hit, she hit a minion. Made it extremely clear what I wanted to do. That was as much communication as I could do, and it still wasn't enough. Pretty unfortunate that it even has guild for us, though, thanks to the Gragas camp. Should have been able to live there, it just should have been a massive waste of an opportunity. And a waste of my flash. Hmm, this might stun him. Nah, I'm not gonna get there in time. If she'd waited a little bit longer, that could have been really good, I think. On the bright side, he may have overstayed here. He will heal up from Nami, though. Assuming Nami actually gets back into lane. Z here to show the way faster. Ideally, I don't want to base until I've got 700 more gold. That's when I got my mythic. Can we dive now? If Lucian actually shows up here. Gonna deny some farm from him. No reason to hand this over to him. Hopefully, we're not getting flanked here. Got him. Well, if it's just a flank by an army, that's not really nothing, anything to be afraid of. Would have lived no matter what as well, I think, since I still have W. All right, nice one. We do it basing, but I think I can stick around for. In front of, especially with this honey fruit here, that's perfect. Okay, Gragas is topside anyway. That was a really bad decision from Lucian to try and contest that turret. Especially if he's gonna tank my E. My E should have been wasted there if he played that smart. Alright, I'm just gonna base. Can't really get anything better, so we'll go for the call fields. I should go, but <clears throat> we can try and get a top lane turret, maybe. And if not, then at least we just get here faster than him anyway, so we can get more farm out of it than he can. Okay, this Gragas in our jungle. was an any flash oh no that was a hex deck okay it did seem like a dash rather than a blink on the map um okay she lifts oh hello what the hell any Th that was a flash I'm gonna pop exhaust and hopefully I kill her here God damn it, I can't overextend there because of the Lucian ult. Okay, thank god. Not a shutdown for me, sadly. Very sadly. But we get a shutdown, and I get my treasure hunter. Hello. Gotta be very careful about how I play that if I want to go aggressive on Gragas. Why is nowhere at the very end of the list always? Missing out on the cannon, sadly. I actually got that loss with my W. <laughs> Could 
be somewhere in the end that brush. I don't know who was actually pushing the stop then wave. I guess it was Lucian. I'm stronger than him at the moment, but I'm kind of low compared to what I assume he is. Anyway, maybe I'll just get a top lane turret here. As long as I don't get ganked, uh, like ganked from out of vision and I have time to fight back onto Lucian, it should be in a relatively even trade. Uh, he's not even top here, so this is going to be a free throw for me though. That's nice. And they seem to be having an even fight on bot lane, despite Syndra also being mid. So this is really good. <coughs> I'll keep pushing here as well. Should have delayed my E maybe slightly just to kill more of these minions, but oh well. If I die here and I get 650 gold from the turret, that's easily worth it. Nearly got another E. That'll take care of the wave and the turret. Perfect. Okay, I'm almost certainly dead here, but it's like we said, worth it. If only I had E, I could definitely kill Nami here as well. <laughs> no point jumping on her because uh, I didn't have my E ready. Oh well. We got the Navori though, that's huge. I was only aiming for a pickaxe base. Instead we get the full Navori. This is definitely going to be a bloodthirsty game. Even though I'm not massively ahead, there's uh, not any armor whatsoever on their team right now. They will eventually get some Zhonyas, but I think mainly uh, Bloodthirster is going to be really good against their comp. Solution is burst, Danny is burst, Gragas is burst, even the sound is burst. They're, pretty much their entire comp just wants to kill people, so if I can make myself a bit more tanky, harder to kill, it's going to counter the purpose of their comp. Or at least make their win condition harder to achieve. I don't have enough information to go aggressive on Nami there, sadly. Oh boy. I sadly can't hit them through the wall. Oh, I think Sinja's still gonna die. Oh, what the hell? My... Ah, bad. Holy fuck. Did she... Just ex Did she just place vision there? I didn't expect her to go on me. They must have had vision there. That blows. Things I heard a trinket, so maybe they had vision here, maybe a pink here, and so she placed the trinket there to like direct her key on me. But she already knew I was here, so she started bursting me before she placed the trinket. You know, pretty unfortunate either way. My exhaust was completely trouble. I was it was far too late to save myself. <laughs> Lucian also going for the Bloodthirst a second. I've been wondering whether that could be good. I'm leaning towards no though, but I haven't tried it. Um, Some of my team seems to want to just rush the Baron, which might not be a bad call. He missed, he missed, he missed. He missed the thing that doesn't move. Ever. Okay, let's just rush this as hard as we can. Gragas might be able to steal. Let's hope he can't. God damn it, he's directly on the way. I assume the Barrel gives him vision. You stole it. Ah, damn it. I'm still dead here. Well, that blows. Sadly, my jump didn't actually save me from the sound knockup. Well, that's GG. There is pretty much no coming back from that. I don't think. Before that Baron, it was winnable. We basically coin flipped the game and lost the coin flip. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything, despite Syndra did nothing there. I didn't do anything there. None of us did anything there. It was a doomed fight. It might have gone slightly better if somebody had tanked the Scion ult instead of just passing it along to the next person. Which ended up being me. That's fine, don't need to fully drag it out.
God damn it, I'm dead here. Lucian can still hit me there. God damn it, that sucks. How can he hit me through the wall? Surely he doesn't have that range. Okay, that's one kill. Maybe two. Nope, she's gonna die. <laughs> Not how I expected it to happen, but... Wow. <clears throat> okay, well, this game is a shame. Maybe if I... If, if we didn't have our lane so dis heavily disrupted by the Gragas, we could have added a lead big enough to actually carry this game. And on top of that, Gragas maybe wouldn't have been so fed. Since I think a lot of his kills did come, just come from bot lane. I'm just going to keep pushing for now. You know what? This game is doomed no matter what, so I'm just going to pray for a miracle. If my team can defend while I just keep pushing here, then I push... I managed to uh, maybe push the inhibitor so long as... Well, I mean, they can easily recall because they got Baron, but... I got at least force somebody to come deal with me. Yeah, hello. I wonder if I could 1v1 him. God, that damage. Okay, I've got exhaust up. Ah, wait, I'm taking aggro. That's not the plan. Fuck me. My bad. Okay, we tried. How much HP does he have, by the way? Because he hasn't built anything, but he's really tanky. I want to see. 3,000. Yeah. <laughs> I have more HP items than him. He's got... Oh, he's got 10 per minute. Jesus. No wonder then. A bit low. He might have ult back up, but I think I'll risk it. Ow. Hopefully I don't get one shot here. Perfect. Okay. Get out before he can prowlers call me. Ah, I'm dead. God damn it. <laughs> Holy crap. That's insane. He can just reach me through my W. Was anything better I could have done there? I could have maybe jumped out sooner. I could have not gone for that one minion, but it doesn't make a difference with how huge his HP bar was still when he managed to get on me. He's just way too fast. Didn't even ha didn't even have the phase rush proc either, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna saw the... Uh, nah, actually I won't. Should be able to complete Bloodthruster pretty soon anyway, I hope. Although maybe this is a mistake, not having BF Sword for the next fight. I mean, it is going to take me forever to actually farm this Bloodthruster though with uh, Wave States being the way they are, Ash farming. Can't get that. I'm just going to farm mid. Way off. <laughs> Yeah, I should have just sold the the runs blade. Maybe we can burst Annie here though if we're lucky. Need her to waste her stun and some other cooldowns as well. Okay, hopefully that's enough. Oh god, why is there an army here as well? I am so screwed no matter what now. <laughs> I think Nami did add some burst to Annie there, but I don't think it mattered too much. I was dead either way. Definitely has enough burst to kill me, even if she wastes a cooldown. It's actually crazy, though. That was just two abilities. Technically three with the E, but... Ah, I wanted that. 
Those actions have been pretty uninspiring. At least she hits Lucian though. Delays him getting to Baron. Or whatever it is they're gonna do. Like, part of me feels like there's no point trying to contest the Baron and I may as well push Bud, but... If we somehow do manage to, like, get an Ace while they're on Baron, that would be the one way we win this game. Splitting bot is not gonna accomplish anything. At this current state. Stage in time. Point in time. Lucian might try and jump on me through the wall and burst me, never mind. I'm just going to keep pushing. Maybe force them to come onto me. Maybe I'll take somebody down with me. At worst, I get free farm. Oh, they already did it. Okay. They didn't remove the vision. Got him. He needed Gragas to come help him. Okay, I'm going to keep pushing. This could be really good. They do have sound on bot, though. But we got... Me and Jace pushing. I might even just join Jace here instead of pushing top. Or maybe I'll just uh, make sure we get two turrets here instead of one because my E isn't going to get the inhib. Okay, we got two turrets. Huge. And do I just keep pushing here or do I try and fight? I think we just need to actually leave. Really good. Do we actually defend Bolton as well? Potentially. Sort of jumped into this brush, but... That's huge. We just got a lot of objective bounties and a lot of gold individually on me. Um, fucking hell, what did I want to build next? I don't remember. I guess... Can do... Fire Cannon. Alright, now I'll just go full burst, Lord Dominic. I think full burst is going to be the best choice here. It's going to be most useful for Sam, for example, to try and burst the move before he bursts me. Some poke would be nice, but I don't... I think full burst here is going to be really important, so we'll go for the damage component here. That's going to give me the most of that. I need to join this fight. Can't afford to push because I'm not going to reach the inhibitor in time. Wait, fuck me. God damn it, he got out of vision there. That was so awkward. Could have died because of that. Okay, hopefully... Wow, we actually killed them. Is this unwinnable game actually gonna end up in a win? Could it be? They don't even have soul. We are gonna deny soul from them, I think. Also, I think I should just be pushing this. Sinhib is alive. Annie and Gragas. Both here. I definitely can't fuck with any. Maybe Gragas. I don't know if he one-shots me or not when I have Bloodthirst to shield. Oh. Somebody just gave a free kill to him. Okay, nice one. Another objective bounty. We're slowly but surely getting back into this game. Okay, I can base for Lord Dominix. Definitely don't want to fight while Jace is dead. Didn't mean to all caps there, but sure. Next up, probably gonna be Fire Cannon. Could also technically do Collector. I hit someone. We can do with ganking sound as well, by the way. There's nothing to protect on the top side of the map, like Baron at the moment. So if sound just pushes here. This should be a free kill, this should be a free kill. Jay should not be leaving, he should be defending. Why is he not here? Okay, sound wasted Q. God damn it. That could have been an easy kill, man. That just blows.
Oh, fuck's sake. Now we got Lucian pushing mid. Like, why are we not defending, guys? Jace not pushing the Sion push, so I can't capitalize on that to kill Sion. I just get a free turret. I may actually go Collector here. I think Collector is the right choice. Literally full burst is what we're going to do this game. I'm so fucking dead here. Damn it. Okay. We fucked up hard. At least we got the Gragas, but such a wasted opportunity on that Sion, man. I'm so sad. The most obvious thing was for Jace to be defending Sion, so I'd get an easy collapse here. Instead, I'm collapsing, uh, collapsing with no one. It's just me by myself. They need to not be fighting. Dana's almost up, at least, but yeah, that's just a super death for no reason. <clears throat> Son left there. Or sorry, Jace left there. We should cancel that base. A little bit later would have been better, but whatever. Hmm, nothing to interrupt. Whatever. Oh, uh, shielding at Nami and base or what? The fuck? Who was that aimed at? Didn't even see anybody, but maybe she saw something I didn't. <laughs> maybe we try rushing Baron again? Depending on who that hit, that could have been maybe a free one shot. Did it basically be anybody but Nami? And then for the other person, the, like either Gragas or Ani, or Annie, and then for the other person to not be able to follow up if I try and burst them. Oh, but okay, she lives. I'm assuming San is probably about to kill Jace, or well, or the other way around. I don't know. Somebody's about to die there for sure. Probably. Okay, I'm life stealing. They're probably gonna start Baron. Or they're gonna at least bait Baron. Nope. Okay, they're gonna gank Jace. Ah, too late. Damn it. I was hoping they would gank Jace and we could just rush the Baron. Instead, Jace dies so they don't actually go through with the gank. They might be going for Soul here, though, so we might be able to get Baron. Definitely don't want to give up mid prowl. Ah, uh, didn't mean to use you on this, my bad. That should be him dead, I hope. Yep, for sure. Nice one. Oh, that Diana flash. What was that? Oh god, what? I didn't see him. My bad. Fuck me, I was too distracted trying to see how we were gonna engage there. Okay, we just lost. Ah, <laughs> that sucks. Well, we came a lot closer to winning this game than we really should have. Just a bit unsatisfying that, uh... Like, I think it would have gone a long way if I'd actually been able to pull off that flank on the Scion. I'm really upset that such a basic play was just fumbled by lack of micro on Jace's behalf. But anyway, you win some, you lose some. Moving on to the next game. Alright gamers, we're back for game number four. This time the matchup is going to be Tristana Zyra into Lucian Zillion. What is going on over there? Just about to kill, not bad. So we're running cleanse this time since Lucian is going to be in a less bursty lane. We're not going to have Nami buffing up his burst. So we don't need to run exhaust as much. And the cleanse will help a lot against potential Zillion bombs, Zillion slows. What is going on here, bro? <coughs> Wait, Lucian is actually part of this. And Lucian got the kill, goddammit. Can't even freeze here because I already leveled D. That's unfortunate. 
We're gonna have to slow push here because we can't crash this in time to make... Actually, I suppose if Lucian is basing, he might. Let's crash this then. But if he doesn't base, then we're not gonna deny any farm. Yeah, he didn't base. God damn it, the plans took a lot of lost hits there. I got half of the first two minion waves. That is so bad. Damn it. On the bright side, Lucian is going to be way behind the XP here. An enemy has been slain. And he still hasn't spent his gold, so he doesn't currently have an advantage. So he's going to have to be careful that he doesn't give up his advantage by dying in lane before he's had a chance to even spend his gold. Wait, how did that hit me? Oh, the plants. Oh my god, I just missed out on so much farm there. Including a cannon. Three lost hits, one was a cannon. That's so fucking sad. And I was trying to do that instead of trading back as well as the worst part. I'm just gonna jump on Lucian here. Uh, right as Ira walks off. Uh, I forgot I didn't have exhaust, my bad. That was pretty unlucky timing, though. That it fall in as soon as I hit level 3, she decided to ward at the same time. Yeah, well, I just clearly lost that trade. I should probably look for a base here. I'm not gonna get a chance to kill Lucian while I'm this low ever anyway, so... Okay, I'm gonna go for coal here, I guess, since I can't even pick up a refillable if, if I go longsword. Zara should stay, though. Zara should stay. <sighs> Thing is, I'm f currently full HP while well, they're both bot lane are both uh, half HP. Zara is also full HP. They're gonna take ages to kill this cannon. So what we should have been doing here was Zara delays their push as much as she can. And when I when I get here, we look for an all in. I could just jump in on them, but I can't do it now because we don't have Zara in the lane. It's really annoying. Like she can't help. Um, the plants taking my last hits, and it was kind of unlucky timing that she decided to ward exactly as I hit level 3. But she can, like, at least listen to my calls if I'm gonna make them. She can also prep my CS for me. <laughs> and since I, since I don't have the attack speed to do it for myself. I think I'll just look for another base here. As soon as I crash this wave. Okay, I can get a long sword. As well get the plus 10 AD. Trying to match whatever items Lucian comes into lane with. Which is gonna be a noon quiver. Definitely can't match that, but I can at least come as close to it as possible. I don't want to lane with a disadvantage if I don't have to. Okay, Zillin is top, what the hell? We definitely need to try and punish Lucian here then. Shut down. I'm gonna step all the way around. Going on Lucian here? Wait, did, are we getting ganked here? Apparently. Get the, get the Lucian, get the Lucian, Zyra! Ah, oh, god. Damn it. Oh man, that blows. First enemy jungler is here to be the support when the support is roaming. I'll wait for the ref for a refillable. I'm gonna miss a lot of farm here either way. Trying to rush into lane won't really help. Communication just pink just what else would I do there but all in? <laughs> Anyway, that wasn't the problem. The problem was the... Silas gank. Zara following up with her Q doesn't matter when she already missed her E anyway. What the fuck? Wait, I can't even kill casters. Jesus. 
Oh, what the hell? I need to get out of here. What the hell? Wait, they should have had zero chance of killing me. They'd... They're so lucky that uh, I even took this much damage because I wasn't expecting that. My god, Zillion... Or, sorry, Lucian just straight up almost died there. If I could have just fought back at all, he was so dead, man. What a stupid play to go for when he's that low HP. Alright, use Q on the casters Or, uh, plants. God damn it, I have to give up the melee. Because if I, if I hit the melee, my E is going to hit the cannon. It's probably not going to kill it, and then the minions will kill the cannon. Oh, god damn it. Oh, dude. <laughs> this fucking lane is... Ah, uh, impossible to farm in. My fucking god, I got one CS out of this wave. That is so fucking bad. Need to base for another longsword again. Why is Zillin here? Actually... No, I should have cancelled my base. Should have been camping lane to try and cheese Lucian as soon as he gets here. Uh, just literally sitting in the brush. Pretending like I'm not there is what I should have done. So that he feels overconfident and starts pushing. Then Zyra collapses from here as well. <coughs> Sometimes outnumbered, never she should be, like, sitting there anyway to flank him either way though. She's not playing this right. It's so much easier to punish Lucian here if she comes from the back than if she comes from the front, right? It's so fucking hard because he still levels up on me as well. I can't tell in by myself and Zara can't follow up unless she flanked, which she already missed out on the opportunity for. Zillions is pretty much here again. Nice. I was worried I'd miss a lot more farm there. Zillin doesn't quite have sex. Oh god. Damn, I can't get any of these. <laughs> yeah, we need to all in before uh, Zillin hits level 6. Okay. Thank god that worked out. It's so awkward when I know the right calls every time Bazaar doesn't. And I can't, I don't have time to communicate it to her, like when I wanted her to flank. At least this time I managed to just 1v2. Thankfully the amount of just, the amount of bursts Jusana can put out in a really short period is more than the damage Lucian can put out. Okay, it should be dead, I hope. Ah, please don't level up. Okay, thank god. And we don't give it to Lucian. Perfect. Not bad. I was gonna die there no matter what, I think. Tier on Lucian, interesting. Holding it to 11 minutes, especially. Okay, we're just gonna go for Berserkers here. I think there's not too much point in going... Um, for Pickaxe, which is more of a one-shot setup when Lush er, Zillion has level 6 now anyway. So even if we were to burst Lucian, he would still live anyway. Might as well go for more safety and DPS. Oh man. Oh thank god he died. That was a way late smite from Makai though. Oh man. So all this jungle is actually such a good fucking counter pick to... Uh, Makai by the way. I noticed that yesterday in one of the Caitlyn games. Maokai ult is just so much better on Silas than it is on Maokai. Huh. 
God damn it, that should have been a reset. Um, well, this might blow. Holy shit, no bud. Is it only just not ult there? Stay, stay. At least act as bait, please. Stay, this is so selfish if you recalls, man. She didn't need to do that, though. I need one auto and an ultimate to kill Lucian. Zillin might realize that, though. He's only regening HP as well. You're kidding me? Okay, this is perfect. Zillin panicked with that ultimate. Oh, but he's just gonna... At least he's on a turret, right? Ah, oh, damn it. I was hoping I could kill Zillin in two autos. And the reset might save me. Also, probably over it, or, um... Yeah, overestimated the Zillion Revive Timer. Lucian was back in the fight pretty fast. Yeah, Lucian had a refillable going there, so... Initially, I would have definitely killed him with just an auto and an ultimate, but... Just could never quite get in range. Until suddenly, uh, he did get in range, but suddenly he had like 20 HP left over for Zillion to hold them. Hmm. I'll try and go for it. Oh, she could have ulted! She could have ulted! Wait, my bomb didn't go off, God damn it! Do I live here? I think I do. I'll try and DPS. No, I can't. Zillion is here too. Holy fuck, she just straight up did not ult when she had time to. That could have actually fucked me over so hard. Like, I mean, that could have been a much better fight if she had done it. We could have maybe killed Salas as well. Salas would have had to be, had to have been on the Zara ult in order to actually fight me. Faded. <laughs> Can't even get anything here except the HP. But I definitely need that HP. So she only uses her ultimate when it has a chance at saving her, even if nobody will die from it. She still doesn't live. Let's see if I can maybe catch out Roland's all recalling here. Don't even know what I would need to cleanse of his if I were to get hit by something right now. I don't know his kit well enough. I, I already watched some spotlight of the changes, but I can't remember if there was any stuns there like the old Roland's all. Uh, I nearly have W, come on. I'm diving him. Do I live? Probably not. Mm, okay, so far so good. I'm gonna push, even though it's a little bit risky. Okay, apparently we have a strong kill. That's good. She seems confident. <laughs> okay, we got TPing there. Yeah, nice, he doesn't have vision. He doesn't know he could ult me for a kill. Well, Bolton made a huge mistake in trying to mess with Kale. That's huge. I'm so behind in farm, man. Holy crap. So much of that is just because of stupid miss CS. Either from Zyra plants or from Zyra now setting up lost hits. On top of the regular CS, you'd naturally miss his Tristana anyway. Oh, there's a kill here. 
Slowly but surely he will die. There we go. Maybe I jumped the wrong way. Oh man. I'm scared they hit them while I'm still in the turret. God damn it. Oh my god, I just barely killed them, which just barely saved me. Oh man, if I only had ult already. It's another ultanado. One shot on dilution. Scenario. Oh god. I did not see him. God damn it, my bad. Okay, Lucian died and I got an assist, not bad. Mm. Nice one. Maka can probably actually kill Zillion here too. Moment of truth, was Zillion being selfish and saving Zul for himself, or...? It might be just straight up up again now, though. Does have a pretty low cooldown. But I guess not. Nice one. Okay, somehow Bolin is sort of turned around. I'm still... Mm, I suppose I have a lead of evolution. I'm actually even up in XP as well. Which is weird, considering he has a zillion of all things. So I should get a lead over Lucian, and the rest of the map is winning as well. So I guess maybe mid. He's got, oh, Jesus, half of Relian Souls farm. And yeah, we see Salas coming in for the gank. I wish Zach would have just sitting in a better spot so I could actually bait the Silas. Ow. Rust him? Br uh, but hello? Like, I win the trade, but Jesus, that could have been... No, you <sighs> went for him early. We could have burst him before the Zillion, the Zillion had a chance to ult. God damn, I didn't notice that was a Silas smock I ult. Ow, ow. Whoa, wait, what the hell? Why did I take damage there? I'm not entirely sure. But we won the fight. He's eventually dead. And I get to push this turret. That's one. There's the next up, I think. This Earl Soul is tanky. So you got two HP items. Makes sense. You may want to rotate over here. Yeah. I was going to say no, but then I saw the Urgot TP, so. Or Earl well, Soul TP, rather. Damn it. No, no, no. No, you're kidding me. I could have killed them. My bad. Couldn't see that coming. Oh, Lord. Wow, that was really lucky timing. Let's kill get him. She's fast. She's very fast. There we go. She's fast and she's got a flash. Okay, no raptors for me to steal, but we can get this turret, probably. They kinda need to deal with the Kale. Ow. Thank god that didn't kill me. If 
Fuck it, I'll take these minions. Could even take his raptors. He'll be annoyed at that. That's assuming he doesn't just rush to them. Nice one. I'll go bot. I'll just push bot. I think somebody should be pushing bot. It would in usually in this sort of like a uh, stage of the game, it would be a little bit risky to do that because you might worry about the enemy doing Baron. But they do not have the position to ever start a Baron here. They can't sneak it or anything. They just are too pressured by my team being mid. So we're gonna push two lanes here instead of one. That's what I want to accomplish here. Oh, that sucks. How did that happen? Well, if it's any consolation to myself, and it is, I would not have been here in time for this fight anyway. But I can maybe try and rotate over now, since they're a bit low. Maybe I can clean up. God damn it, they all just run top. They get extra kills. I may get one shot here, we'll see. Well, I was thinking by Silas. Ergo can't one shot me. Yeah, I'll go for the whiff. I'm still back up. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, I don't know if Silas by himself could have burst me down either, considering I had ult, but I was worried that like two of them would hang back to kill me. But they were all going for the same kill. Ah, I'm probably fucked here. Ah, I didn't need, need to cleanse there. It did reduce the duration of the Silas slow though. From a smite. I should be okay here, I think. Zyra should be able to peel me in time. Holy shit. Nice one. <laughs> Zillion, I, I'm 100% sure he had ult. He just didn't expect me to turn on him. I'm gonna base here. And I guess either do Baron or go for the red buff. I don't think we should be getting Baron though. We can easily get an inhib here. So I'm just gonna be going for red buff while they do that. And after the inhib we can do Baron. But my team is giving Kale zero support here, that's so troll. Should not just be Kale solo pushing the inhib. Zach ping and Kale, but Kale had the right idea. Kale made the right call. Nobody, fo It's just that nobody followed her <laughs> in doing the right call. And even though she was alone in her call, she still got the inhib. Like, what, what was stopping us from getting the inhib then doing Baron? Look, now we don't have Kale, so now we can't Baron. Because we didn't protect her when she was getting a free inhib. Oh lord. What? Jesus, that was fucking one shot. My bad. Didn't expect him to flash on me. I think I'm gonna try Farkin and forth here. I don't know if I've tried it yet. I seem to always go Lord Dominic's. Also, by the way, to be fair, uh, Kale probably could have lived when she went for that inhib. She just went too deep trying to kill people, I guess. Oh boy. Damn it. Oh, god damn it. Come on. I got him. No, I don't got him. What the fuck? There we go. Okay, nice. Not bad. <laughs> Lucian could have killed me. Uh, I played that really bad. Oh, well. At least I live. And I get the kill. Just gonna take their entire jungle, I guess. 
Yeah, and I guess we can do Baron. Maybe. But I'm definitely going to be doing less damage to Urgot with this Farcanon than with uh, Lord Dominix, but just everybody else is just going to be nice to have the poke, and we should have an easy time killing Urgot anyway, even if he has the, even if he does have a bunch of armor. Mainly, I just want to test it because I think because of the amount of armor Urgot has, it would be more effective to go Lord Dominix. But I want to test how Farcanon would be onto the non-armor targets. I can at least force the ultimate here and get a reset. There we go. Perfectly safe here because he, again, like I had the reset, so. God damn it, I can't steal the raptor. What would have been awkward is if I managed to kill Zilane so fast that I didn't even get the bomb reset because I didn't get enough autos in. Then I might be in trouble if they were actually in position to punish. Ow, what the fuck? Thank god I'm not taking aggro for so long, I can just free, free hit. Got him. Got him, let's go. And that's gonna be the end of game number five. And it's going to be a 4-on-1 record. Caitlyn could absolutely never. So in conclusion, I think Shastana is a extremely strong solo QD carry. Pretty strong in the meta as well, which helps, certainly. But even when she's not strong, she's still like just a really easy champion to 1v9 with. Really rewarding for the amount of skill you have on her. Um, you can really like improve a lot on her just by knowing her limits and knowing where you can actually go in. Uh, gives you more opportunities. More opportunities means more ways to carry. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers. Psych. That wasn't game five. This is game five. That was game four. Uh, I totally did that to mislead you and not because I actually forgot what game we were playing. This game we're going to be playing Tristana Galio into Vayne Zyra. It should be a favorable matchup to us just because Vayne is so weak in lane. Even if Zara's a little bit strong. But we'll see. We kind of need Galo to be able to land engages for this to go well. Otherwise, I'll be leaning 1v2. Okay, not much to do there. Kind of felt tempted to jump on Zara there, but I probably don't want to ignore Vayne. I want to be focusing my damage on the Vayne if possible. <coughs> we should try and let this push back towards us now if we can. Galo is not going to be very useful under the enemy turret. We've also got Makai on blue buff, so around bot side. We want to keep this lane pushing towards us as it currently is. Eventually this will make them vulnerable to a gank. I just want to thin this out a little bit because it's pushing towards us enough as it is. We don't want them to push too fast that uh, we end up not being able to follow up a Makai gank. Should be ganking right away, it's so good of him to go for the Scuttle Crab. So now he's just giving them a window to place vision, which is just completely unnecessary. Okay. I'll go in vain here. I got the cleanse for the condemn. 
Oh, he didn't have to take that, that's so annoying. Oh well. Should have been an easy kill for me. Oh well. At least we still get some extra gold from the uh, book collect sorry, the uh, treasure hunter rather. Need to crash this way fast. Should have really been focusing on the cannon. Okay, thankfully I still get it. Can he make sure that she doesn't freeze? No, apparently that's my job. What the fuck? Why is Alistar here? I'm getting out of here. His Maka is most definitely dead there if it doesn't have flash, which she doesn't. Unsatisfied with this Galio. At least he landed the engage, but damn. Let's go for this, since I can't get the new quiver. At least Jace is a massive lead. So, at least we know now that Dallas Stars is going to focus really heavily on roaming. Oh, I didn't even read that Jace said he was going to be roaming. But still, really sad that they get a freeze because of that. The wave station should have been a lot better for us, and it's so greedy of the support to just be recalling while leaving the ADC to break the freeze. The ADC is the one that wants to recall fast. He wants to get a good recall. The support is supposed to be aiding the ADC. I don't want to trade with those plants. Wow, one Galio Q takes out two. Gonna set up the next minion to be last hit. Double. Should have a 4 CS lead, not a 2 CS lead. Okay, Zara's roaming. I guess we'll try and crash this wave. Either make this uh, Vayne miss farm or Diver if she's still here. I guess Vayne has already recalled though, that's why Zyra roamed. It would be hard, like very risky to actually go for a dive here. There's no way to deny her farm though, or at least not too much farm by freezing though, since I'm just on and I can't actually freeze that very well, so... I'll just continue pushing and getting platings. Actually, I have a feeling we're about to get flanked by Alistar, I just realized. He's not going to return top. Okay, so far so good. He did actually go top. Okay. He straight up rushed the Romies. That rushed the Mobies. Oh. Wait, Vayne is level 6. I don't. Ah, damn it. I can't get the reset. Oh, god damn it. I'm dead. Well, that is really unlucky, man. Holy shit. If I could have just got the reset, I would have killed Vayne. Yeah, but I'm not sure I would have engaged the fight, though, when level if Vayne was level 6 and we weren't. Because that gave her a huge advantage. Like, sure, we are favored to win the 2v2 anyway, and the only reason we didn't win is because it turned into a 3v2, but still, like, wh why risk it when we're close, or at least I'm close to level 6 anyway. At least even out the playing field before forcing the engage. Okay, nice one. I'm gonna start shoving because Vayne is so low at the moment. Well, she's not low anymore, but the idea was that, uh... 
Wait, how's Maka live that long? She wants to recall, so I should start crashing. And if she wants to stay to avoid uh, losing farm, then she's going to be diveable. We should be able to kill Vayne here. Got her. God damn it, I took another turret shot. So unnecessary. No! Okay, the potion. I'm still gonna die eventually though, right? Oh, it's Zyra's chasing me. I don't know if she actually gets me. <sighs> Katarina's gonna get me eventually. I'll just execute then. I thought I knew you had Brow. Oh no! That's so unlucky. Oh well. Still much better than giving a kill over to Katarina. And we'll get Pickaxe here. <coughs> Since we can burst the vein pretty easily. So we want to get maximum burst damage. Zyra also doesn't offer too much protection against Vayne. The only protection she... The only meter protection she has is E, which doesn't interrupt my autos. And I still have cleanse for that. Oh. God damn it, my bad. We'll start off with the Alistar, then... Maybe place bomb on Kane. God damn it, should I flash them? I've lost vision when I need the reset. God damn it. That is incredibly lucky. You can't focus Zyra here. You need to focus Vayne. Really greedy. But god damn it. If I just had a trinket, that would have been a kill. I swear to god. I'm really tilted. Okay, nice. You got a kill. Could have gone worse. Oh no. Yeah, just a simple peel. Uh, like, as much as it was a mistake for me to flash through there, it still shouldn't have been a death. Just a simple Maokai W on Vayne would have saved me there. Instead, he went on the Zyra and Vayne just cleans us all up. Uh, I don't know why she's overstaying here, by the way. This should be an easy kill, I hope. Unless she's just that much faster with her Berserkers. Yeah, I can't actually land the ultimate on her, which I needed. God damn it. Okay, at least uh, Galo froze this for me. If only I had Berserk, because that would have been an easy kill. I was just barely short of that. No, no, no. God damn it, Galio. I missed so much farm today because of my supports. Especially cannons. We can easily dive her, by the way. Thing is, the, long <sighs> the longer we wait... Oh, God. Wow, I actually died. My bad. I was gonna say, the longer we wait, uh, the more chances Vayne actually shows up and we can't dive anymore. My bad. I didn't expect to actually get solo killed, though. <coughs> I think at this elo, I'm just gonna have to expect my supports to not dive. Pretty much any time it would be good to dive. I think every time I've tried to communicate it to them that we should dive, they just don't do it. Either they either they don't do it or they just mess it up. Like the Ash earlier who didn't uh, actually take aggro when I said take aggro. Ah, if only I had Flash here. I'm actually... Using W here not to get onto them, just to get away from the plants faster. I don't want to let this... God damn, how does she have this many plants? What the fuck? I gotta ignore that. Why isn't everything in my farm? Jesus, I've lost all this HP to Zyra plants. I guess she's fed, but Jesus. Why is she fed? Yeah, because I dragged the wave out over here, I can shove it much faster, I get to shove the next wave much faster, we end up getting this turret before all the pl platings fall. This just the farm is actually very low for a 1v0 lane. He should be doing better. I have more farm than him. I'll have to fight for my farm. At least he's got a turret though. But I also have a turret.
Oh boy. I'm gonna go bot. But we've definitely fucked up our lane. Like, even if I'm pretty strong, like, I'm not... I'm, I may be slightly stronger than me. Like, at least looking at our items, it seems like I have an item lead. But we should have a way bigger lead. Vayna skills me pretty hard. And she should have been getting stomped in this lane, not just barely going behind. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay. Jesus, I don't think I played that perfectly, but she definitely needed to leave that dive after I ulted her away. My lord. Ready to use W if I need to, if he hexa flushes on me. Nah, it's just in the river. I probably shouldn't have used Q, actually. I should save that for a fight since I don't have Navori yet. There may not be a fight, but we should prepare for the possibility. Okay, I gotta stay grouped with my team here because there's likely to be a fight. I shouldn't have done this, though, because Katarina can easily jump in here. Okay, I've lucked out, though. Nice! Need to stay away from Vayne. There we go. And I get out. Huge. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure the supports in this elo, they obviously have the capability of executing dives, because they're, they're, some of the, like, the, any dive that I go for, like, I'm, I'm not expecting my support to play, like, Faker, right? I just expect them to actually, like, do, like, what I tell them to, but I think they're just too afraid of diving. They're not sure that it'll work out, and they're actually afraid to start the dive, and that's what keeps going wrong. Is that I'm the only one that actually knows the dive would work. And they're not willing to blindly trust me. I got cleanse here, so even if Vayne was cheesing me here, I was actually- it was sort of a bait. But she wasn't there anyway, so... Because Vayne would win that usually if she condemns me into the wall, so it would be a good play for her to go for, minus the fact that we got cleanse. But she may not know that it's up, may have forgotten about it, so most likely she just didn't think about doing that play. I can already base for Navori, but I've got 9 CS left for my coal, so I think I'll just stay until... I got that cashed out. Nice, that goes a long way. We really need to stop trading with these plants, we don't win these trades. It's annoying though, because it means the plants just zone us for so long. There's just so many of them somehow. There's a plant on every queue, it feels like. At least eventually we'll actually arrange the plants. There we go, cashed out the coal. Now we can base. Wasn't completely necessary, but... Fuck. But I had a feeling we wouldn't be fighting anytime soon anyway, so I could get away with doing that. Oh, boy. Well, I got it wrong, didn't I? I'm gonna focus Bane. Ah, oh, god, I gotta jump out of the Zyra ult or I'm in trouble. The Syra, what the fuck, man? How is there always a plant? Or multiple, even. Ah, uh, I'm so fucked here, I don't have any gap closer. Dive ain't, goddammit. She might die if she doesn't have triumph. Yeah, she did, but I didn't get the reset in time. Oh well. My bad. I was thinking the Kane might do something there, I didn't expect the Alistar. Honestly, he's doing a lot better than the J so far. Jace does not have nearly enough of a lead to compensate for how much of a map impact this Alistar has had. We'll definitely go for Bloodthirster here, but we'll start off with the BF Sword instead of the Vamp Scepter. <coughs> I think I'm definitely enjoying the Treasure Hunter more than I am the Sorcery. 
Tristana just has such an easy time getting kills that even early on that uh, you can easily get a stacked and hit power spikes faster and snowball with that. Usually I do raptors, but just in case there's going to be a fight that I can join in, I'll just try and follow up here. Jumping on Vayne. Should be a kill. One shot. Navori Tristana. God damn it, Zyra. Oh, hello. Jesus. Okay, I think Galus is either or something. She didn't even try and follow that up. Or maybe she just didn't ever reset. Nine hundred and eighty five damage on the turret there with that E. Nice one. No other ADC would have taken that turret there. for this wave before we go for Drake. You can have that. But don't Q. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I still got it. Oh. Well Zara's dead no matter what here. Oh. We're all good. Oh my god, I'm getting 1v1 by Vayne though. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck me, this all just tanky. I didn't notice his ult was up. Okay, nice. Thank god. Careful, careful. Okay. We can't actually go for this Drake, so we're gonna push mid. I just can't risk, uh... Like, we'd basically be handing Kane a free Drake. Thing is, we also can't let him just, uh, solo the Drake, but... He do it slowly enough that we have time to get the mid lane turret first. I was hoping he'd commit for an Evia there. We'll see. Okay, we got Makai with us now. It's a shame that I have mana, so I can never actually jump in on Kane and one-shot him. Would be one way to zone him off the Drake. Death is the best zoning. I'll try and clear this. He's not even trying to steal. Alistar hopefully is dead there. God damn it. Ow. Ah, damn it, didn't die. I need him maybe one more auto. Alright, I'm gonna base now. Okay, this time for realsies I'm trying out the fire cannon, because we never seem to actually finish that. <clears throat> Nobody has armor yet. Alistar will get some, but whatever, he's still kind of squishy, he's really behind. That's the thing, is he, he's helped his teammates get ahead a lot, but look at his XP. Look at his gold, look at his items, he's super behind. Individually. Oh. That's fine. Ow. So we're forced to roll to mid for nothing, awesome. I mean, she would have died if she didn't ult, but... Couldn't even get a kill with that. Or she didn't even try, at least. Um, that's not amazing. Oh, yeah, they are on that. Jesus Christ. I'm trying to get rid of these plants because they're going to do so much damage. He's dead. I don't even know why I jumped, actually. Oh, get him, get him. Nice. Katarina's dead here. Jesus, these Zyra pl I can't- how- I've never noticed Zyra plants doing this much. They're just all over the place. I have to kill them or they're gonna decimate us, like what? How is there a plant here randomly? Like, what is going on in this game? Is she hacking? Does she have triple the plants a regular Zyra does? This is not what playing against Zyra usually feels like. No, oh, that's an ideal. We should be able to get a free turret here. Okay, 
I already got fire cannon, but oh, hello. Okay, we want to kite away even though we want to fight. We don't want to be fighting him and getting in position to get club stunned by Vayne. So unfortunately, I lost vision when I did that. It's pretty awkward that we're on this map exactly. Oh well. Let's get the red and recall then. Mm, hello, Alistar. Should be able to get him. Very dead there, Jesus Christ. I was thinking of ulting her there, but no need. Damn it, I'm about to lose vision on her right there. Ah! So one of them is about to die, right? Yep, got the vein. Huge. Uh, what about the rest of them? Okay, not bad, not bad. Think if I had, if I didn't have a cleanser, that would have gone maybe a little bit differently. I ulted two of them away though, so maybe not. They were pretty far away from being able to follow up. I'm just gonna fucking dive this bitch. That's how we get rid of the plants. <laughs> fucking red buff is gonna get me aggro, but that's fine. Fred dies in slain away, I can life still. I'm gonna do a short hop here, just, bar oh, just barely trying to hit Alistar. There we go, he's gonna be dead there. Awesome. Oh damn it, he ulted me. Galio, Galio. Holy shit! If she doesn't have flash, then she doesn't kill me here. <laughs> no way. Holy shit. Okay, who's alive? Kane is still alive. I'm life stealing. We're all good. That is so lucky I survived on that HP. Not that it really affects the outcome of the game too much, I think, but. 600 damage onto Zyra for free. Still don't outrange the plants, it seems. Dead. Come on, come on! Somebody get the Alistar off of me! Thank god. Okay. No! Ooh, she didn't get to one shot me fast enough. Okay. For a second there, I was worried because uh, whoever she just killed, Jace, just gave her a gap closer to me, but she also couldn't burst me fast enough, so it's all good. There we go. Oh, god damn it. The plants are about to kill me, aren't they? Dude, we got a notion that pretty much just hard saved me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the plants! Something is wrong with the Zyra, man. She's fucking hacking, I swear to god. Okay, and that's gonna be game five, and that will be a 401 record. Er, 401? 4 to 1. I didn't lie. Just another easy carry. Tr kiss at Caitlyn could absolutely never. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.